Hey everybody, hello and welcome back to our channel Info Island. It, it is 8th of May today and we have our current affairs video ready with us for you guys to help you assist in the preparation of your government exams or any other competitive exam that you are preparing for. So let's get into the video. Question number one, which department manages the Swachh Pakwada event? Option A, Department of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare. Option B, Department of Drinking Water and Sanitation. Option C, Department of Publication or is it Option D, Department of Drinking Water? The correct answer is Option B, Department of Drinking Water and Sanitation. The Ministry of Parliamentary Affairs observed Swachh Pakwada from 16th to 30th April 2023 as part of the Swachh Bharat mission. The Swachh Pakwada was launched during the second fortnight of April 2023 as per the 2023 Swachh Pakwada calendar released by the Department of Drinking Water and Sanitation. Question number two, Indian origin actor, writer Meera Sayal recently received which prestigious award? Option A, BAFTA. Option B, Golden Globe. Option C, Grammy. Or is it option D, Academy Awards? The correct answer is option A, BAFTA. The BAFTA Fellowship is the most prestigious accolade given by the British Academy of Film and Television Arts, that is BAFTA in short, to an individual in acknowledgement of their exceptional and extraordinary contribution to film and or television. It was received recently by a UK-based Indian origin actor writer, Meera Sayal. Question number three, the Smart Cities mission has been extended from June 2023 to which year? Option A, 2024, option B, 2025, option C, 2027, or is it option D, 2030? The correct answer is option A, 2024. The central government has extended the deadline for the Smart Cities mission from June 2023 to June 2024 to allow all 100 cities to complete their projects and share their experiences. The Smart Cities mission began in 2015 and 100 cities were chosen through a competitive process from January 2016 to June 2018, with five years given to complete their projects. Next question, we have question number four. Stone of Scone, which was recently moved to London, was originally in which place? Option A, Scotland. Option D, Wales. Option C, Ireland. Or is it option D, Norway? The correct answer is option A, Scotland. The Stone of Scone, also referred to as the Stone of Destiny, is a red sandstone slab weighing 150 kg. The stone has been a sacred and significant symbol of Scotland's monarchy and national identity. It was moved recently from Scotland's Edinburgh Castle to London in preparation for King Charles III coronation. Next question, question number five. Leptistheria chalukye, which was recently discovered in Karnataka, belongs to which species? Option A, spider. Option B, turtle. Option C, shrimp. Or option D, snake. The correct answer is option C, shrimp. Leptistheria chalukye is a new species of spinny clam shrimp. It was discovered in Karnataka recently. It was named after the Chalukyas, one of the medieval Indian dynasties who ruled the region and had their capital in Badami. The species of shrimp measured up to 0.3 inches long 
had a brown exterior and white yellow interior coloring next question we have is question number 6 what is the name of the oscillations that are amplitude modulated structured narrow band signals option a geomagnetic pc1 pearl oscillations option b geomagnetic pc1 gold oscillations option c geomagnetic pc1 silver oscillations or is it the option d geomagnetic pc1 diamond oscillations so the correct answer is option a geomagnetic pc1 pearl oscillations recently ntpc limited and nuclear power corporation of india limited that is npcil in short signed a supplementary joint venture agreement to collaborate on the development of nuclear power projects the initial plan for the jv company is to focus on two projects chhutka madhya pradesh atomic power project 2 by 700 mw and the another one is mahi banswara rajasthan atomic power project that is 4 by 700 mw which are part of the fleet mode nuclear projects next is question number 7 Which state government began the survey of people from the other backward classes that is OBCs after Bihar Option A Odisha Option B West Bengal Option C Kerala or is it the option D Tamil Nadu The correct answer is option A Odisha The Odisha government recently began the survey of people from the other backward classes belonging to 210 castes in the state to determine their social and educational stat status As per the state SC ST and backward class ministry the survey has an aim to get clear picture about status of socially and eco educationally backward classes next we have question number 8 pygmy hawk the smallest species of pig in the world is endemic to which country option a sri lanka option b india option c afghanistan or is it the option d myanmar The correct answer is option B India Pygmy hog endemic to India is the smallest species of pig in the world African swine fever is threatening pygmy hog and other asian wild pig species Over the past 16 months camera traps have recorded zero hits of the animals Next question we have is question number 9 Abdullah Abu Bakar who was seen in the news recently plays which sports Option A triple jump Option B javelin throw Option C swimming or is it the option D chess The correct answer is option A triple jump Commonwealth Games silver medalist triple jumper Abdullah Abu Bakar won gold in the Mikio Oda Memorial Athletics meet in Hiroshima, Japan. It was the season's best effort of 1631 m that is 1631 meter on Saturday. The 27 year old from Kerala has a personal best of 17.19 meter. Okay so the last question for this video is question number 10 Jan Shakti exhibition was organized the 100th episode of which program Option A PM Rozgar Mela Option B Swachhata Pakhwada 
ऑप्शन सी मन की बात और इज इट द ऑप्शन डी बेटी बचाओ सेल्फी बनाओ The correct answer is option C, मन की बात। जनशक्ति एग्जीबिशन वॉज ऑर्गेनाइज टू कॉमोमोरेट द हंड्रेथ एपिसोड ऑफ द पॉप्युलर रेडियो प्रोग्राम मन की बात जनशक्ति अ कोलेक्टिव पावर वॉज इनोग्रेटेड बाय रिनाउंड आर्टिस्ट एंजॉली एला मेनन विच सेलिब्रेट्स द आर्टिस्टिक डिवर्सिटी ऑफ इंडिया Okay guys so that's it for today's current affairs video i hope these questions are going to help you guys in the preparation of your government exams and yes thank you so much for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel info island and also hit that bell icon so that whenever we come up with a new video you guys are notified about it thank you so much for watching